Welcome to our Thy Kingdom Come series and uh, to this morning's offering of how you can pray for your five people uh, that you are thinking about between the period of Ascension Day on 21st of uh, May, all right through to Pentecost on the 31st of May. And we encourage you uh, to pray in a different way each day, just to add a bit of variety and excitement to the process of praying uh, for those five people to come to know Jesus and for his Holy Spirit to be poured out on them and you as you go about your daily lives. So let's pray together. Roman Catholics and Methodists, Pentecostals and Anglicans, Baptists and Orthodox, side by side praying for the presence of the Holy Spirit to work in them for others, uniting in this prayer. Come Holy Spirit, let your kingdom come during this time. Will you join us? For our uh, praying for five today, we're going to just take a piece of string and I'm going to encourage you to uh, tie uh, uh, five knots into the piece of string and then cut it off and uh, have that in your pocket as you go around about your day to day. And each time you reach into your pocket, um, think about each of the people that are on those knots and if you take a, a tea break during the day maybe just get it out of your pocket and and just spend some time uh, praying for each of the five people the situations that you're aware of and that they might come to know Jesus in this thy kingdom come period so that's our prayer method for today tying five knots uh, into uh, the piece of string so that you can pray for each of the people uh, that you are praying for in this Thy Kingdom Come period. Thank you for praying for your five people today. It might be that you're one of the people that's been prayed for and you're wondering what this is all about. And you might have questions uh, bubbling up inside you as to why somebody's been praying for you and what do we mean by uh, Jesus Christ being pouring out his Holy Spirit uh, on you and on the situations which you're facing? Well, we'd love to answer those questions. And so contact details of the ministers in our circuit will be at the end of this video. And we do encourage you to contact us if you have a question uh, that's been been raised as a as a result of being prayed for also within our circuit every sunday morning we have a sunday podcast service uh, which is on youtube if you search for sherwood forest methodist circuit you'll be able to see all of the podcasts uh, we're going to be having a morning prayer at 10.30, uh, led by myself and others from around the circuit. Uh, and we'd really encourage you to search on Facebook for the Sherwood Forest Methodist Circuit, and we'll be live streaming that prayer uh, onto that Facebook page. So may you be filled with the grace, peace and love of our Lord Jesus Christ this day and every day. Amen. <laughs>